Alright, welcome back. This is going to be game, or I should say match number two, with our black-green control, Planeswalker's deck. It's a very heavy hand. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we can keep. Hopefully we can get some ramp. It's fine. Birds is great. Love to have had that at the beginning, so I could play Nighthawk, but beggars cannot be choosers. We're gonna black, black, green for Nighthawk. Keeps us from taking one damage, and we can ulcerate something if it comes down. I think we're going to do it right now before he can uh, remove a 1-1 counter. It's going to cost us 4 life. But we've got we've got some life link. Next turn we can play one, two, three, four, five, Raska. It's fine, we'll take the three. It's a trade I'll make all day. Oh, why did you hierarch first? We've got six, so we could duplicate, but we're not going to. We could batter skull. It also just Frasca. Get in for another two. Something big, something big. Garrick? Oh, it's seven. Tooth and nail. Yeah. He's gonna get a couple creatures. Although we do have some answers here with Duplicate and Garrick. Braska. I'm not super scared. But I might be. Depends on what they drop. Hornet Queen and a Ulamog. Ouch. Did he play a land last turn? I could take out the Hierarch, then he couldn't play the uh, Hornet Queen if he doesn't hit a land. Um, I think we're just going to do that. He did draw another land, so now he can Hornet Queen, unfortunately. We don't have a lot of answers to Hornet Queen. I'd like to draw three. <clears throat> and then here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we just batter skull. We 
We could also whip in consuming vapors, but vapors doesn't do much for us. I also like, I mean, I like the whip to give this guy lifelink, but. Go in with one. Keep Vraska up. Won't attack it. Gonna attack Garrick here. Gotta get rid of him eventually. So just block one. Wow, that seems good. Take out the Sphinx. Pop. Vraska. And then we can return Batter Skull if we want. We can also leave up Abrupt Decay. That means Ulamog's coming down next turn. Probably coming down regardless, because he's at 9 lands. Oh, yep. Coming down either way. And a Garrick, nice. So do I just abrupt decay, take out the Hornet Queen, that I can then Vraska the Insect? Consuming Vapors. And then Batter Skull equipped to. That's way too much mana. I'm trying to think of a way we can kill off. Because if we allow Garrick to survive and uh, Ulamog hits, that would be a good game. So return Batter Skull to hand. Nope, that doesn't work. Cast Abrupt Decay. Take out that little insect there. On our turn, use Vraska to take out the Hornet Queen. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we've used Abrupt. We can use five of it to equip the birds. We can then consuming vapors. Um, yeah, that works. It doesn't help us. If that was a thought seize, it'd be much better. We're going to destroy, oh wow, I am an idiot. <laughs> I can just get rid of it with Vraska. Hello.
I'm making this way too hard on myself. As I usually do. I'll equip the birds. Doesn't make sense to attack with a duplicate. Sure. So Ulamog exiles two permanents. He takes my duplicate. He also takes my batter skull. If I leave the men untapped, he'll just take out Vraska. Um, not looking good. I'll just Inquisition, see what he's got. Hopefully we hit something. Careful consideration, okay. <clears throat> Here it comes. I don't think we survived this. Yeah, he'll hit, hit, sack the beast on Tabraska. Oh, what? That seems interesting. I would have taken out the batter skull personally. Play the whip. Oh, top twenty. Yep, that's game. Yep. <clears throat> I forget how good Ulamog is in uh, <laughs> limited forty card deck. All right. Do we have anything we want to bring in? Maybe distended mind bender. Whip's not that great for us, so we'll bring in the mind bender instead. We just don't have enough creatures really to make whip very good. Ugh, this hand is not pretty. Really? Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that hand. Well, that's gonna be game. And he got another little hand. Okay. That allows him to play Hedron Archive, which puts him at six mana. And then he can tooth and nail in the Wicker and the Hornet Queen. Yep. Nice and all right. That was uh, pretty brutal. We'll go on to game three. <clears throat>